I think it's hard for women to admit things to themselves, let alone admit it to anybody else that they're in a coercive, abusive relationship or marriage. I brought a book out called Brutally Honest and I tackle some very taboo issues. My only option was to talk about it and was to write about it because I didn't know any other way out. And talking about certain situations like what I've been in was very cathartic and very therapeutic. And I think abuse on any level should be spoken about and you should know that you can get help. And by doing this book, Hopefully I'm encouraging people to not live a life like what I've lived for the last 10 years and that there is options and you can get out and by talking about it, hopefully you do that for yourself. Spice Girls are going on tour next year. Our tickets went on sale a few weeks ago and they all sold out immediately, which is brilliant and breathtakingly like wowzer to me and to the other girls. Um, just goes to show we have the most amazing fans. Of, of course we're all going to rehearse together. Our rehearsals start in April next year and our performances um, then carry on in May. My favourite Spice Girls track has to be Wannabe because that is the first single where we exploded onto the scene in the music industry and into all your homes and on your radio, ha ha ha. It's such an annoying, amazing, brilliant song that we wrote ourselves. Um, yeah, it's my favourite. I didn't really have an outfit. But when I turned up on set, I found in the rubble of stuff, I found some John Paul Gaultier, really expensive trousers. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna snatch that. But I also wanted to wear like a, a, a tank top with spaghetti straps. And so I went to Mr. Byright and I bought my green, lime green tank top from Mr. Byright that was about two pounds. And I still have it. And it was so comfortable and I was so happy I got it. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my outfit, mix and match. Bit of designer and a bit of regular stuff. I was never gonna straighten my hair because my whole thing was, not only was it convenient to wake up and just go like that, I wanted to make sure that I was being authentic to myself and I'd just be me. And curls are beautiful. They're always gonna be beautiful.